Pixan administrator has blocked you from running this app. Warning, assure the target application is virus-free by scanning it with an up-to-date antivirus app. Solution 1, enable the hidden administrator account on Windows 7, 8, or 10. Run CMD as the admin user. Type the following command, net user administrator slash active yes. If the error is fixed, log on as your regular user account, and then open an administrator mode command prompt as below. Type the following command, net user administrator slash active no. See op at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash siaucw. Solution 2, run cmd as the admin user. Navigate to the location of the .exe. File via the command prompt and run it as seen in the screenshot above. For example, you run the below command cdc colon backslash users backslash your computer sir here backslash desktop backslash. Once done, press enter. The first line explains how to change directory to where the executable file is. See op at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash pi l8 i0. Solution 3, try removing all expired certificates with the below script file at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash kula j0. Solution 4, 4.1 if you're on Windows Professional or higher, you can use the administrative tool, local security policy, and navigate to local policies dash security options, and select user account control, run all administrators in approval mode and set it to disabled. 4.2 If you are on a home version of Windows open the registry editor, and navigate to hk underscore local underscore machine backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash current version backslash policies backslash system select enable LUA and change the value to 0 instead of 1. Close the registry editor and restart the computer for it to take effect. Solution 5, disable smart screen. If you are on a domain and not an administrator on the domain itself this won't work. If you're running some old version of Windows, please refer to the below IMG when you access the system and security portion in control panel. Case study 2, if you can't get some Windows update installed. Check if the update orchestrator service has been stopped. If that happens, set that service to run automatically. Rerun the downloaded updates, reboot your system. <laughs> 